So today I'm going to show you how to install Miniconda in a Windows system. So at first you Google the Gonda, go to the website, over the left corner you can see the Miniconda option, click on it. Then you have a three installer options, either it's for the Windows, Mac OS or for the Linux. So over there you can see three Python versions, Python 3.9, 3.8 and 2.7. Now computer is actually for 64 bits, so you go to the room and download Miniconda for the 64 bits. After you are done, just uh, click open it and uh, proceed as uh, usually you do the installation for every other software like a next, I agree, next and then install it to the specific directory that you want to. There are two options for the advanced, just register it as a default Python 3.9. After it's done installing, you have to just open it. So my computer is taking a bit of time to install it. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. So over there, is an, or when you uh, open the websites, there's a thing called a bash file. So it's for installation confirmation, but you don't have to because uh, it's run on a GUI system. So if it's a Linux, so you can confirm that that's, uh, it's being installed in your system. So uh, we are doing it for the Windows. I can show you for the Linux, how to do it in the Linux too, in the next video. So and this one's now after it's being installed, open it as an Okay, it's taking too much time. Now it's finished. So you just have to click the finish button, go to the Windows button, search Conda. Now you have a prom shell, so you just have to open it by administrator. And then you have uh, options. You can write is conda. So conda is the base button. So you can update the conda. So you have to write the code called conda update conda. It's gonna download every other software that can be updated within the conda environment. So it's now being updated. Now it's asking you either you have should proceed yes or no. So I have to proceed yes. It's being downloaded few packages. So after the package is being done, it's being automatically updated within the system. So you don't have to worry a little bit about it. So after it's done, like it's verifying the transaction, executing it now. Okay, now it's very clear. So it's depend on your network speed. Like mine is not too good, and even the server system. So it can take time depending on your system compatibility and others. So now it's done. So I have to search for the info, like which version is being installed and so on. So it's 3.9 version of Python being installed and this Conda version is 4.101. Now you have a very options, like uh, you can search Conda help to get uh, a list or either, we call, or either you can type Conda list. So there are different packages the present in the conda like uh, numpy pip powershell uh, shortcuts and everything so uh, you can download any of them depending on your usage and there's other things you can type conda help so it can few commands it can show you few commands like clean if you want to clean some packages that will not be uh, used you can uninstall, remove, package list, there are lots of options are there. So you can upgrade a specific package, update a specific package, either you can run, search, or limit, create an environment. So creating an environment is very crucial for a few other softwares. So over there, I have to install called pip. So I'm just installing pip right now. So you just have to write conda install pip. So it's gonna download everything that contained within it. So let's do it. Like uh, you have to complete it, right? So I have written this in a conda uninstall, but I haven't written on what to uninstall. So it's a general term. You have to specify which one you want to uninstall. And uh, that should not be any thing that can damage the conda environment. So now I'm installing conda pip. So as you can see, it's being downloading the solving environment. Now it's already installed. Now I can uninstall the pip, but there could be an error button occur. 
just because it can damage the system because uh, now I can show you that like you remove it start processing now it's done now it's asking do you want to proceed or not you can proceed but the operation error is there and this says this operation could not be controlled because without replacing it with another version of conda and uh, if you want to exit it with saving you just type exit you're going to exit the system so it's a very easy to use conda environment in a windows atmosphere in the next video i can show you how to do it for the linux